Well, I'll tell you, you know, the Charlotte Nature Museum and the Audubon Society, that's kind of a natural match. I mean, if you think about the goals of both of our organizations, they align so wonderfully on a project like this. We're planting a bird-friendly native plant garden at the Charlotte Nature Museum. The people who work at Wells Fargo here in Charlotte are here helping out, working hard, shoveling mulch, digging holes, planting plants. We have Mecklenburg Audubon Society volunteers here helping out. And we also recruited some master gardener volunteers as expert gardeners to make sure everything gets planted beautifully and well. And our native wildlife and our native flowers and our native plants are just as beautiful as a lot of the ornamentals. So by teaching people that they can make their, their yard look nice, look landscape, but it can also be beneficial to wildlife, that's one of the big goals of having a garden like this out here, is to show people with their hands, they can put it in the dirt, they can dig up these plants, they can plant them in their yard and they look great. So that's what we're hoping for. We planted almost 100 bird friendly native plants, 17 different kinds. So we've got phlox that's going to provide nectar for hummingbirds in the spring. We've got coreopsis, which has got bright yellow orange flowers that are going to provide seeds for our finches and sparrows on into the fall. And we have just a wonderful variety of plants that are going to help birds throughout the year. A generous grant from Wells Fargo's Environmental Solutions for Communities program is paying for the plants today. And now it's going to be a lush, beautiful oasis for birds and butterflies. Wells Fargo is such a staple in our community and to have their, their uh, employees come out and show support for Audubon and for the Nature Museum and to get down on their knees and get dirty and, and really bring this garden to fruition. Uh, we could not have done it without them and they're such good supporters of everything we do at the Nature Museum and we in turn are good supporters of everything they do in their community. I saw this, um, this opportunity and I was like, this is for me. So I really enjoyed it. I love birds and so I want to learn what kind of plants also I need to plant in my yard so I can attract hummingbirds. I love meeting the volunteers at every project so they come some of them have never gardened before. Some of them have gardened. Um, there's a volunteer here today who's so excited to learn that she could find out which plant she could plant to attract hummingbirds. So along with having her hummingbird feeder up, she wants to plant the beautiful flowers that will support them. I didn't know which plants to pick for attracting birds, but with the brochure, I should be able to go and see, okay, these are the plants. And, and now only, not only with the brochure, but also by doing this, I'm looking at the plants and I'll go back and write down the names if I need to or I'll pick up them from the brochure. So that'll be really, really helpful, yes. So having two organizations really come together to create a showpiece uh, in front of the Nature Museum is such a good situation for us. It gives a lot of exposure to the Audubon and all the fantastic work they do and it also kind of highlights the importance of talking about Piedmont wildlife and North Carolina wildlife here at our museum as well. It's, it's people coming together to do things that help birds, but also are really great for people at the same time. So these native plants are going to use less water, they're using less of our natural resources, um, they're going to help the birds, they're going to bring more birds and butterflies into people's lives, which gives everybody more joy. Um, so it's a great example of bird-friendly communities working 